Hello everyone, it's Rob with some Lightroom stuff. How are you? Hope you're okay. I'm using Lightroom 5 CC at the moment and I wanted to do a quick video of um, a previous video I made in Lightroom 4 how to make a time lapse um, using Lightroom and a few people in the, on my video have uh, made comments about not being able to do it the link not working the in the description not being able to unzip or download the file in order to make the time lapse. So I thought I'd make this very quickly. Uh, this is my new iMac and it is amazing. Uh, and now I'm using Lightroom 5 as I said, and I wanted to show you how I've done the same video or the same process in this one, but using the old video I made uh, with the link in that video. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm in the library now in the library module in Lightroom 5. And if we go into the slideshow module here, you will see on the left hand side that I have the 24 frames per second time lapse and 30 frames per, uh, frame per second time lapse. Well, I'm actually gonna delete these two. So I will show you exactly what I've done in order to bring in the files I used on the old video that works perfect in Lightroom 5. So um, I'm gonna go back to the library. So I have all my time-lapse uh, photos in here and I've made the adjustments, etc. I've done all the good stuff. So we need them files now, go into the slideshow and I obviously have no user templates. So let's go into uh, YouTube uh, on my video. So this is my video. I made and in the description let's just click off of here let's just go so this is the link to the time-lapse so there's a link so I'm going to click on this link now and as you can see it's gone straight to the downloads uh, folder on my Mac there we go, this is actually the third time I've done it. I've sort of done a test a minute ago. So I'm gonna click on the time-lapse folder and this will show you in the finder where it's stored. So I'm gonna go back into Lightroom. Let's just shut this down. So in the user templates now, I'm gonna right click on import. And then we wanna to go to downloads and into the folder. Now we want the slideshow templates, not the video presets. I know it's a video you're making, uh, a kind of movie, but we want the slideshow templates to bring into Lightroom 5. So double click, double click on user templates, and we want here 24 frames per second, and I'm gonna control or command click on the 30 frames per second, and click on import. And that's it, very simple. Now we can use these to make a time lapse with all the files I've got. So I'm gonna click on 24 frames per second and I'm gonna export the video. Let's make call this test and export. Now I'm not gonna let you go through all this because it does take a while. So I'm gonna cancel this, but I've done exactly the same as I've just done and I will show you on the desktop. So let's minimize this. And I've made it um, a small resolution just for speed. I'll bring it up bigger to show you. And doing exactly the same thing I just showed you. Let's hit play. And there we go. A nice smooth time lapse. And that's it. I just thought I wanna make this quick video um, to show you that it can be done. And just one last point, the last video that I'd done in uh, the Lightroom 4 uh, time-lapse was made using my Windows laptop. And I haven't changed anything different for my Mac uh, being Apple. This is my first Apple uh, computer. I didn't change anything. I didn't do anything different. Uh, just downloaded the files, put it in Lightroom, and that's it. It works perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions or queries, send me a message. Take care, see you next time.